Here you can see doctor, the surgeon operates by seeing through a 3D vision. Here you can see Dr. Rajshagar operates on the surgeon. It's like a joystick. You will be operating the same movement will be transmitted to the patient part. All the control will be at the foot as well as at the hand, hand of the surgeon. This is called the patient part. And uh, here, the one surgeon will be here. Here you can see Dr. Stevenson is standing. Imagine this is a patient. He controls the patient part, fine tunes the patient part. The robot consists of four arms. Like we humans have two arms, Robo has four arms. One of the arms con contains the camera system. This shows what's happening inside. And the rest three arms will perform the task that is done there. It basically replicates the task the surgeon performs at the surgeon console. So this is an important con uh, component, that's the patient cot. Imagine this is the patient body. Three or uh, four holes are put, it's only eight millimeter uh, hole which are placed at different uh, parts of the uh, human body. And then you can see, Rashid, you can move uh, the instrument. Yes. You can see, once he moves the, uh, the hand, it is replicated here in the form of uh, uh, movement of the arms. This is the robotic arm. Next comes the important, another important, third, third important component, which is the central control unit. All the movements which are done there in the patient, uh, surgeon's console passes on to this central control unit which then transmits to the patient cart. To understand it better, I can say this is the CPU like in a computer. It processes all the movements done there at the surgeon console and transmits here. It also contains a monitor. You can see whatever the movement which we perform at the surgeon's console can be seen. The rest of the team member except the surgeon can watch this screen. The surgeon has a separate screen which is a 3D screen which can, through which the surgeon can perform the task. Now you can see a very uh, complicated task being performed with the two arms. The third arm is stationary. We can interchange the arms. We can utilize all the four arms simultaneously. You can see the movement of uh, the robo which is precise, minus tremors, minus unwanted movements. So that's how uh, it has got lot of advantages over conventional surgery or for that matter laparoscopic surgery.